How's it going, YouTube? Thanks for joining us again on Japan Trail Cam Podcast. My name is Dan, and we're starting it off with this cute little wild boar who is just peeking at the camera. I like the face. Uh, really cute looking face. And uh, just wanders off. Off into the distance. Ah, we have a kind of a weasel here. I think this is probably like maybe a Siberian weasel. Um, invasive species, I think, here. And uh, he kind of gets into a little bit of a scuffle here. I think he found something to eat. Uh, and let's just watch him here. Yeah, you see him going after something very voracious. Again, these are invasive species. Uh, and they have a very negative impact on a lot of uh, native species such as birds, lizards, frogs, uh, some uh, insects, also potentially some uh, crayfish, crabs, uh, stuff like that in the water. So uh, still interesting to catch them on camera, but again they are an invasive species and he just slithers on off. And here's another invasive species, a raccoon. I've had uh, this trail camera on this um, little bit of a pool stream kind of area for about a month now. Um, and I just changed the angle so I knew I would get quite a few raccoons and here's another one. You can see he kind of caught something, he's nibbling on something. Uh, and uh, this is uh, one of their natural habitats. I'd much rather see them uh, in the forest, I guess, uh, than in a urban setting um, because, you know, they're wild animals. <coughs> Sorry about that. But again, they are invasive and uh, they have a negative impact on the native species in the forests here. He's just digging around digging around and we will see quite a few um, raccoon in this video I still think they are an amazing species um, really clever highly adaptable uh, very rugged species and a tanuki kinda sleeks on sleeks on out and they kinda compete with the raccoons there's a marten, Japanese marten, which is a native species. They're very voracious. We got a wild boar. I was hoping that he would uh, jump into the pool there. I think he thinks about it, but then uh, he's like, eh, maybe not. And he climbs up these really steep rocks off to the side there. Um, and they're amazing. They can They can really climb some areas that you just wouldn't think they could but uh, they are very great climbers um, even on these very slick and steep rocks finding his footing all right who we have next oh, another wild boar another wild boar this is a morning clip but uh, I think it was still just just a tad bit dark and the LEDs popped on on these, uh, this white flash trail camera. Just kind of cautiously, quietly walking along the trail. Oh, here's a badger. Knocking over some rocks. And uh, I think badgers are uh, creatures of habit. They like to use a lot of the similar trails. Uh, and uh, what not up on up off that rock we'll see another badger maybe the same one yeah another raccoon off to the side noodling trying to catch something to nibble on and again we'll see this quite often in this video what do we got next probably another raccoon oh another wild boar another wild boar just kind of moseying around in the water there you can see some sakura leaves it's right around spring here a lot of sakura sakura leaves have fallen off into this little pool and he wanders off 
Oh, and we have a little baby pig. Maybe following mama. Following right behind mama. Oh, and he brings along a brother or a sister. A couple little baby pigs wandering around. Sniffing around. Maybe trying to find something to nibble on. Some roots or fallen fruit. Vegetation. All sorts of good stuff there. Again, there is a native species of wild boar in Japan, but there are a lot of invasive species and uh, a lot of interbreeding. So it's very hard to kind of... It gets complicated when you want to try to identify native species of wild boar because they are very similar. But uh, the Japanese wild boar usually have... Uh, some white whiskers uh, kind of on their cheeks uh, or kind of around their chins uh, and they're still hanging around I think they get a quick little drink here at least this guy does gets a little drink maybe he follows gets a little drink as well yeah gets his gets his Gets his nose a little bit wet there at the watering hole. Kind of heard a little, heard, heard a little, little piggy sounds. Another tanuki, again, kind of slinking around just underneath the camera. Ah, here we are. I have a deer. Didn't get the quite best of shot. This deer is very timid. I don't think he was. Uh, Notice the camera. He's not quite looking at the camera, but didn't uh, muster up the courage to kind of walk across. Left it in because great frog sounds. So let's give him a listen. Nice little trickling water and some frog sounds with that uh, little little buck there, who is uh, kind of hiding right now. But I think he'll he'll pop his head back in there. Just a sec. He's thinking about it. But I don't think he uh, eventually crosses crosses the uh, the pond there. Not really a pond. A little pool there. Yeah. It's great bird sounds in the background. Here we are with another raccoon. Again, noodling under some rocks trying to find something. Trying to catch a little frog or a lizard salamander. Crab. Kind of a rainy day. Rainy spring day. Another badger taking the same route. <clears throat> yep. Climbs up those rocks again. Here we are with a pair of raccoon on a very rainy day. I think this is going to be our last clip here. Hope you enjoyed all of our videos. We bring wildlife videos to you every week uh, from our patch of the woods here in Japan. And if you want to support what we do, definitely do all that YouTube stuff. Like, comment, and subscribe. Check out some of the links we have in the description to our website, our Patreon, Twitter, and whatnot. And uh, we'll see you guys again next Saturday bright and early and uh, definitely check out some of these videos off to the side here and have a great day.